Okay, I, I don't know where I'm at. I, I feel all over the place, but let's go. That was not good. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vinia McCall. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Today continues my never ending recap series where I go back through all of my perfumes that I purchased in 2023 and give updated thoughts. Some of these perfumes I have worn since then so I know what I think. Some of these perfumes I've let sit. So this is my first time smelling them again after months. So... And I also, I feel like I might be forgetting some. Well, there's two that I can't find in the original three, actually. Uh, we'll get to that. <laughs> Before we get uh, into it, I have to just thank my amazing and beautiful, credible subscribers. You guys are amazing. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. Um, I just love y'all. Y'all rock with me. Y'all hold it down. And it don't get no better than y'all. Period. So... Let's get into what I purchased in July and August. So the one that I can't find, and I think I finished the travel size. It is the Viva La Juicy um, Sucre. Uh, I had the travel size of that. I've already said will not repurchase, would not repurchase, especially not now for full price at $140. And even if it came down or if I've seen it in Macy's, I still wouldn't get it. It has that 90s nostalgic um throwback smell to it mixed with like it smells juvenile to me I don't care for it don't like it no disrespect to those who do it's not my preference I think I finished the travel size either way go don't need to repurchase no um the other one is B I think it is from uh Brooklyn is it name Brooklyn Ellis whatever their name is I did not like that one when I first smelled it. I probably threw the travel size away. It was a dabber and it was like the 10 mil or something. I did not care for that one at all. Do I still have that? I looked over where that would normally be and I don't see it. So I think I might have thrown it away. Because I did not enjoy that one at all. And I smelled a couple of other of their perfumes. Is it Brooklyn Ellis? What am I saying? Ellis Brooklyn. Ellis Brooklyn. I was close. I was close. Anyway, I smelled a couple of their perfumes as well. And I don't think I care for the way they do perfumes. I just don't think that's a house that would be in my collection. Um, but I probably threw B away because I did not I did not enjoy that one at all. Um, you can see the haul where I hauled that one. Kayali Velvet Santal. I can't find the travel size that I went back and bought. I know I haven't finished it, but I don't know where I put it. But if you know me, if you watch my content, you know how I feel about it. You know I've already repurchased that in a no in a 50 mil bottle. So that should tell you how I feel about it and how I grew to love it. Actually, I guess I can explain very quickly. Um, when I initially did it, so me and Lauren, if you haven't seen it, we did a live together unboxing and smelling um Kayali Silk Santal and Wedding Santal. Nope. Silk Santal and Velvet Santal, the wedding collection. And so I initially got the Silk Santal in a 50 mil, and I only got the Velvet Santal in a travel or a sample because I had no intentions on liking it. Well, once I sprayed it, I was like, dang, I kind of like this. And I did a What to Wear with video. So I have done a What to Wear with Silk Santal. It's on my, uh, I did film that. And I also wanted to do a What to Wear with Velvet Santal. But as I was spraying to come up with layering combinations, I was like running through the sample. And I was like, okay, I need to get at least a 10 mil. I was like, I won't need a full bottle because I don't love it like that. Child, that 10 mil has gone with me every single time that I've gone out of town. Every single time I always bring that 10 mil bottle with me. It is more than halfway gone. Um, and I eventually, if you saw my Kayali rank my collection uh, video, I showed where I eventually bought the t 50 mil bottle in the full size. It is not something based on the way it's marketed and designed. It's not something I would think I would go for. But it is an absolute love. It layers well with so many, so many things. Yes, it leans a little masculine, but it comes back around. And it just, I actually think it's a perfect unisex scent. I feel like it doesn't lean too feminine and too masculine. I feel like it feels perfectly right in the middle. That heat always comes on at the wrong time. I be freezing at night and that heat just be chilling. 
Right now I got lights, camera, action on. And it just, anyway, um, so that is my journey with Velvet Santal. I never had planned or intention to like it, let alone love it. But I have completely, completely fell in love with that. And it is a full size bottle in my collection. And I, yeah. So that is the only one that I have an update on that I can't find the original bottle that, it, that I bought it in. Well, those were the three, I guess. So, since we're here, I don't need to talk about this because y'all know my love for this. This is Silk Santal. Y'all know. I will be getting a backup bottle when it comes out. I'm, I think it's coming back around this year. She's hinting at it. So, whenever it comes back around, I will be getting a full bottle. Whether she If she launches in 100 mil, I will get 100 mil. That's how serious it is. The dent, I am trying my best to hold on as much as I can. It is an absolute love 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 of mine and there's just nothing else to say um let's do this one really quick so i actually this is mark jacobs perfect look at the dent look at it so i have bought this and i say this all the time but i that really just goes to show you how your nose evolves over time because in my 25 days of content from 2022 i have bought a travel size of this perfect intense C Passione and maybe one more and when I did it I was like I don't really get it I was like I don't like it I was like I like the perfect intense more but I was like I can pass on either one not a love for me not it was just it was a no there was a travel size so it, it sits in my travel size area then one day last year I remember I was one of them days it was a good day and somebody had scratched me out. So yes, yeah, scratched with a K. And I was going into Ulta to pick up a buy online pickup order for something. I can't remember, but I specifically did a buy online pickup order because I didn't want to fall for the okie doke and roam around and look for something and then find something I don't need. But once I went in that Ulta, I was like, I need something new. I need a new perfume, something just to, to lift my spirits because it they had me down bad. So, I was spraying, sm smelling stuff, and what ended up happening was there was a five times the points on Marc Jacobs' perfumes that day or something. So, I ended up smelling it, and I was like, I kind of like this. You kind of like it? Babe, I think you more than kind of like it. This has become, ooh, wait. <laughs> this has become a love of mine. I love the bottle. I know the bottle, I guess, is somewhat controversial. I feel like... The bottle is perfect. It is just a fruity, powdery type of scent. And I, these type of smells, even though it's traditionally for spring and summer, I love these type of scents in the cold weather. Something about the cold air mixed with this. I saw I got a lisp. With this, <laughs> with this, it's just. I have nothing else to say, but I love it. When this bottle is done, I will. I got distracted. I have no idea what I was saying. Um, I had to make a phone call, so sorry. But Mark Check was perfect. When this bottle is done, I will 100% repurchase in the biggest size possible. I think this is old enough where I won't have to pay full price. I should be able to find it on Fragrance Net or somewhere for um, a fraction of the price. But this type of scent DNA, I don't know what it is in the cold weather. I love it. I crave it. I'm actually going to try to wear it. Over the next uh, in February, I'm gonna I'm gonna wear it a couple times. This bottle is probably gonna be done this year, and I'm really sad about it. But also, I love it, love it, love it, love it so much. Um, this is Ariana Grande Cloud Pink. Okay. Um, I don't like that sprayer. It's not very good. First of all, that's just all alcohol. <laughs> um. When I first smelled it, I was like, it just smells like um, the original Ariana Grande cloud with just pink seasoning in it. <laughs> um, as it has sat over, this actually might make my February tray. I don't know, we'll see. When is this going up? This should go up before February. Um, I will say as it has sat. I'll say it's it's a little bit more than just a pink version of the original. 
Is it clearly a flanker of the original steel? Absolutely. Um, but it is different enough, especially now that it's set for several months, it is different enough that it's a little more than just a pink version of the original. Um, and I said it then and I still agree now. If It's possible that you could like this version and not like the original. It's possible that you could like this one more or less than the original. Like It's definitely different enough that one that you could have both in your collection and to be justified. It's different enough for both. I am happy to have it. It's not a repurchase in the way that the original Cloud is a repurchase for me. That will, is a, will forever be repurchased. I have... A drop left of it now and I'm debating whether I'm gonna go to Ulta and get another bottle or order it from like fragrance center or something I'm gonna get another bottle it's gonna always be in my collection for the foreseeable future it's it's that type of love for me this one is not there for me yet however it is nice I do like it I can see there is a world that exists where someone can love and enjoy this more than the original could not like the other ones and like this one. To me, I would still say the closest smell to this is the Sharosa 68, I think it is. Um, if you like that, if you like Fallen Bloom, if you like uh, Go Fruity from Zara, then I think you would like this. That's the closest scent DNA profile that I can give you um, to see if you want to blind buy it or not. If you like those, then I think you would like this. But... Is it necessary in my collection? No, because I already have, like I said, Go Fruity from Zara. I have uh, Sharosa 68. Like, I have other things that are similar in DNA. So, if you already have enough of those and you're not looking for more of the same thing, then I don't know if I would say this is necessary. But I do like it. I'm going to use it and enjoy it. It's not bad. I don't hate it. I'm not, I don't feel like I wasted my money by getting it. Um, And that's another perfume that I'm probably going to start wearing in the cold weather. Okay, this is Miss Girl from Oksha. It's their Oksha's collab with Paul Reacts. Um, and all it is is a hybrid of... All it is is a hybrid of Lost Cherry and Baccarat Rouge 540. I actually do want to smell this again since it's been some time since I've worn it. This is the one... I will say... I will say... Ooh. Ooh. Wait a minute. This thing done got potent as it done set. Mmm. So I I think, I don't know if this is true now. This is my first Oaksha perfume. But I'm going to venture to say that these get better with time. Like these get better as you let them sit. Because this is way more potent. And a little bit better now that it has set. This has gotten so much more potent. It almost smells... It's like a pie or something vibe to it. But anyway, I think what I was saying was just plain Jane said this with comma from Latafa. So I wore this one day. I did this and I added black cherry Merlot and a black cherry Merlot perfume oil. It was really good. But I was initially going to say I was only picking up the cherry at first. And it wasn't really, you know, whatever. As the day went on and I started moving around and stuff, then the Baccarat 540 DNA started to come through. So I was like, you know, it's good. But at first I was kind of thinking, you know, it wasn't well blended. Now that this has sat, it almost has like even like a, a apple pie, not apple pie, maybe like a cherry pie vibe to it. It's actually really, really good. Oh, this has gotten so much better. Like I now I want to wear this with Angel Share. Like, because it's, it's given like it belongs with Angel Share. Like it's given that type of vibe. Like. Ooh, do Oaksha perfumes, do they get better as they sit? It's an X straight day perfume, so I'm willing, to, uh, it probably does. Okay, I'm glad I spend the block on her because, yeah, I have worn her a couple of times. I don't know if you can see the dent. The dent is right under where Oaksha ends. That's where my dent is. So I've definitely worn it a couple of times, and I did like it, but I was stuck between, uh... So my phone kept ringing while I was trying to film and I kept getting distracted but what I was going to say is I was stuck between this one and Dawkins Roma Opulence because they're both hybrids of 540 and Lost Cherry. Um yeah that's good. Okay so this is one that I don't think I've smelled this 
since the first couple weeks that I got it because I just don't get it. So this is Givenchy Givenchy, as I've been told. I know it's Givenchy, but I just don't like saying it like that. But whatever. Um, irresistible. Okay. You can't even see it on there. Anyway, I have bought this for my friend for Christmas one year. She liked, or was it her birthday? Christmas, I think. She liked it. She enjoyed it. She said she gets compliments, but it don't really do nothing for me. Um, well, I wasn't interested in purchasing it. Then I saw somebody's video, and there wasn't one of their, like, complimented perfumes. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe there's something I'm missing. So I went on FragranceNet, and I got a 1.7, I think. And I still don't get it. <laughs> it's like a, almost like a shampoo, shampoo-y type of thing. It's fruity and shampoo-y. It's just okay to me. There, it's it's nothing to write home about. Certainly nothing I needed in my collection. It's just okay. Almost even like aquatic. I mean, I know they have a new one out too, but I'm not interested in it. Yeah, musky, fruity, rose, powdery, floral, sweet, iris, aquatic, woody, and fresh. Pear and bread. You know, I have a 50-50 relationship with ambre. Uh, the middle rose and iris, the base. Musk and virgin cedar. Virgin cedar? Virginia. <laughs> Virginia cedar. I was going to say, why is the cedar a virgin? Okay. It's not bad. It smells like a watered down version of like Linterdy or like My Way. It smells like an old fresh version of that. I think that's what it is. It's not bad. It's just not a love. Um, I can definitely see myself getting more use out of this in the spring and summer. It feels for sure like a spring and summer scent. But yeah, it's just okay to me. It's nice. It's not bad at all. It's just, it's just okay. And I should have followed my first mind when I had bought it for her and I wasn't a fan of it. Uh, let's do, okay, let's do Burberry Goddess. Y'all already know my journey with Burberry Goddess. When I first smelled this, my first video, I was just like, I'm not really sure what I'm getting, but it's just okay. After letting it sit and I came back to it in December of last year, I was like, whoa, y'all, something this has changed. It has gotten so much better. Like, I am debating it, getting a bigger size, but I was like, I'm not paying the full price for that. And the girlies had put me on. They told me that Dua had came out with a version of it that was $33. And I said, and they said it was spot on. And I said, say less. I ain't going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. But I will say, go ahead. What did I spray right there? Hmm. I will say, go ahead on over to my Dua brand haul. And you can see my thoughts. Also, where's the cat for this, Vanilla? Flower Bomb Nectar. You already know what's coming. I have eventually bought the full size of this. I bought it for my birthday in September. So in the next recap video, you'll see the full size of it. But y'all know I started with the perfume oil. Got the travel size to be responsible to make sure I loved it. Loved it so much. Could not wait. And I have the full size. I'm saving this because I do like to travel with flower bomb nectar if i'm gonna go out of town i do like to bring this because it is a compliment getter so i'm not in a rush to go to the travel size because i would like to have it when i do actually travel um but it's a love compliment getter long lasting it's just it's that girl it's that girl so glad i have it um it's already been repurchased now let me tell you something at the same time that i got that i got ruby orchid when i first got ruby orchid you can see i haven't really used much of her at all I was like, this is the Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. I was like, you know, it's, it's it's nice. I like it, but we'll see. I don't know if my nose has changed or the actual perfume has changed, but I've been looking for a full bottle of this. It is on my purchase list. Girl, I think I got caught up in the um my love for nectar that I just, I didn't appreciate this. Or maybe it just, this wasn't, the time yet. I don't know. I wore the... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This? I don't...
don't know how I missed this. I'm going to venture to say that this has gotten better with time. I wore this the other day on top of... What was it? Was it I Want You from Jimmy Choo? I have to look at my TikTok video because I've been... Every day on my TikTok, I've been posting my uh what I'm wearing for the day because I'm trying to be more consistent with TikTok and that is like the easiest thing to do I'm trying to ease my way back into TikTok so I'll have to check the records <laughs> and see what I actually wore with but baby when I sprayed this on I said I think it was I want you Jimmy Choo because I was going for like a peach vibe and so I did I want you Jimmy Choo and then this on top girl I said oh what is this this um Ruby Orchid, it's on, um, I, I ain't gonna hold you, when I get done with this, I'm probably gonna go look. I've already been looking and scoping the scenery out, but there's Ruby Orchid. I'm so sorry I ever slept on you, babe. So sorry. Okay, let's talk about one, another one. I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess, okay? If y'all saw the original one, y'all know this was not a love for me. Where am I with this bottle? Y'all know it was not a love. However, this is where I'm currently at. I don't know if this is going to show up. Okay. That, like right there. This is definitely one that needs to sit. This is definitely one that gets better. What's wrong with that mister? It came out like a stream instead of a mist. Um, definitely one that gets better with time. It lasts a little bit longer and does better once it sits. I've layered it with a couple things. I have come to really, really like it. Having that said, the full price of this perfume is, hold on, a 50 ml bottle of Killian Prentice is $130. Do I like it this enough to pay $130 for it? I hate to say it, but I think the answer is no. I think where I am with Killian Princess is I would like a really, really, really good spot on dupe for Princess. I don't think, what's this? They got a new one, Born to be Unforgettable. Mm. Might have to get a travel size. Anyway, I don't think that my strong like for it, it justifies paying $130 for the full size. Not it, it had to sit. This is not one that you can spray it first and like know what you think about it. It's got to sit first. Um, now that it has sat, I do like it. I do really like it. Am I pay $130 for it like it? For a 50 mil? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think I'm there yet. If there is a... And I normally... If I can... Justify having the original. I normally do like to have the original perfume. However, I think this one is this one is one that I'm gonna settle for a really, 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 really good dupe. So I don't know, Oksha, or maybe even if Dua has one, or what's the other one? Dossier, whatever their name is. Dossier, whatever. Um, so I'll be on the hunt for a really, really good dupe of Killian Princess, or if I end up finding it. I can give you $100 or less for the original. So if Joma Shop or Fragrance Net, if they end up having the original for, which I don't think it will because it's so, it's so popular. I don't think it'll ever be on those websites for a reasonable price. Um, I would do it, but I don't think I'm at full price. But it's a strong, strong like. And when I first got it, I didn't like it at all. Didn't like it at all. This is Juliet Has a Gun, Lust for Sun. I'm pretty sure that I already know I want a full bottle of this. Um, I have been getting more and more into Juliet Has a Gun. Uh, this is, I brought this out of town twice. And both times, the one time I think I wore this out of town, I wore this with, when did I buy that? Should that be in this one? Uh, Melrose Place from Way. When did I get that? Because that might should be in this recap. Hold on. I don't know. But anyway, this is good. I do like this and I do want a full bottle. Um, It's a little... The name Lust for Sun... Is Julia has a... I think they are unisex. I think they are typically geared to be unisex. And I will say this is a unisex scent. 
it's because um, it has a little cologne vibe to it not overbearing to me not bad to me it also has a green smell to it right there's something green in here a flower or jasmine or something in here and i can clear oh they got it on hold on somebody got it on sale okay so the notes in here are coconut freesia bergamot the middle is gardenia which is what i'm smelling ylang ylang jasmine and orange blossom the base is white musk and broxen and vanilla let me tell you it's very heavy on the jasmine and the gardenia if you know that that's something you typically don't like don't fool with it because it's very very heavy on that um definitely a spring summer scent for sure i do want a full bottle of this not something i need to get right now and as i was looking up the notes um i saw two places that had it for a very good price so i will eventually get around to that not something i need to get right now but i do love and enjoy it definitely a floral definitely a floral if you don't like florals don't even fool with it. This is Eternal Coffee. Um, I think I reviewed this in my update on my Arabian Perfume collection. I believe this was in there. Um, whew. <coughs> this is a Tootsie Roll on steroids. That's exactly what this is. It smells like a Tootsie Roll, but just amped up to the 10th power. Okay, you definitely get the coffee in here too, though. You definitely get the coffee. Woo, this is scrum. Um, I can work with it, but it's certainly not a love. Um, I can definitely pair it with some things to kind of tame it down. It's strong. The coffee is strong, and the chocolate is just as strong. But it's not a bad chocolate. It's chocolate that literally smells like Tootsie Rolls. So, I'm not mad at it, but it's definitely, um, it's not blind buy safe. And the unfortunate thing is, I'm pretty sure you have to blind buy it or see if somebody will sell a decant, but there's no, like, travel size of this. It's just one size. If you know you like coffee, if you know you like chocolate smells, if it, it's not bitter chocolate, though, because I don't like bitter chocolate. It literally smells like a Tootsie Roll and coffee on steroids. That's literally what it smells like. So if that sounds like something you would be interested in, then I would say try. But if not, don't fool with it because it's strong. And I've heard people say, complaining about the longevity. I have not had any problems with the few times that I wore it, but I didn't really pay attention. It was always like I was running somewhere really quick and coming back. I was only out for a couple of hours. So I have not had any problems with it, but I'm going to have to pay attention as we're in this winter. Let me pay attention and spin the block to let you know for sure, for sure. Okay, this is the last one. This is... Red Temptation Elixir from Zara. And I think at this point, I don't think I even have the original Red Temptation. I think I have Red Temptation Summer, which is my baby, and I wish they did not discontinue that. I have Red Temptation Winter, and I have Red Temptation Elixir. Now, I still don't have the original Red Temptation, but I don't feel like I really need it. <clears throat> okay. You don't need this one either. <laughs> um... Another 540 DNA recreation, whatever. And I guess because I haven't smelled the original, I can't say if the how the this compares to the original, but it's not giving anything worth writing home about. It's just, it's okay. Especially because they upped the price and gave you a little bit less. You don't need this. Yeah, no, it's not giving anything. You don't need it. Not worth it. Okay, I think that is everything from July and August, I think. Yeah, I think that's everything that I have to talk about for July and August. Um, now, I'm really nervous for the last four months because I absolutely lost my mind the last four months of the year. it I'm scared to look. I'm scared because I know... I think I purchased more in the last four months than I did the first eight. <laughs> I know that I did. So, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know how I'm going to break it up because I know it was a lot. And there was also a lot that just came out in the last four months. Like, it was a lot of stuff. So, we're going to take it piece by piece, I guess. And um, I really don't want to go too far into 2024. We're still reviewing things from 2023. But we'll see what happens. Head over to the after party and let me know what you think. Has uh, What are some perfumes that... 
you have have changed or you have changed your mind about since you purchased them um last year like when you first got it it was okay but you let it sit you came back to a couple months later and i was a love you want a bigger size you want a full bottle you wish you had gotten a full bottle um what perfumes in your collection are doing that for you um but that's all i love you all so much i'll see you in my next one bye